Hello friend! This is a tutorial showing how to make those sing-along videos that have the bouncing ball highlighting the lyrics you need to sing in Vegas Pro. I'm using Vegas Pro 15, but any other version will work just the same. I'm making this tutorial because when I search for answers on how to do this, most of the answers seem to be either it's impossible, use other software, or make it look awful like this. The sample I'm going to base this on is going to be the Steven Universe movie sing-along, but you can easily change the style to fit anything else. If you're going to follow my method exactly, I've provided a download for the animated star that I'm going to use for the sing-along. There are also a couple of generic red ball images you could use. These are in the mega folder linked in the description. I've also included a Vegas Pro sample project, which has a complete video made in this format. This will be a bit time consuming for longer songs, but I believe this is the best method to get a good looking result for this software. Start a new project in Vegas Pro. I'm doing this at 1080p 60 frames per second. I consider that ideal to see the bouncing ball movement on screen for a YouTube video, but lower resolutions and frame rates will work fine. Import audio for whatever song you want to make a sing-along for and place it on the timeline. Now, you'll need to basically make subtitles for all the lyrics in the song. Go to Media Generators, Legacy Text, and start typing out the lyrics, one line for each text event. Use the Placement tab to place the lyrics at the bottom of the screen, and use whatever text effect you want to make sure the lyrics will be visible over the background. An outline might help, for example. After making the first lyric, copy the text event and use it as a template for every other line of the song. Make sure when you paste, you choose Create a new copy of the source media. You've added your subtitle lyrics, now I suggest you place timing markers for where each word or significant syllable of the lyrics starts. Listen through and press the M key to place markers wherever you need them. This is probably the most time consuming part, so if you finish this part, you're most of the way there. The next thing you'll need to do is add your bouncing ball to the project. As I said before, I provided the animated star and a couple of generic red ball images to the download folder. The star is a PNG sequence, so once you have all of the PNGs saved in the same place, use the import media button here. Select the first PNG in the sequence, tick the box that says open sequence, and then hit the open button. The star animation needs to be set to 24 frames per second if you're going to use it. Create a new video track for the bouncy ball, then add the ball animation to the track and stretch it out so it matches the full length of the song. Now go into the track motion. Make sure the sync cursor at the bottom left is switched off for now. If the image is too big, resize it until it looks about right. Then place your ball thingy just above the first lyric needed for your song. Right click on the keyframe you've created and select Fast. Switch the sync cursor option on now and start creating new keyframes on every marker you placed earlier. I should explain. For this track's motion, we're going to handle the vertical movement of the ball. What you're doing at this point is setting keyframes for every time the ball needs to bounce and hit a lyric. Handling the vertical and horizontal movement of the ball separately will allow us to have a curved motion. Vegas only allows linear motion, so this is a bit of a workaround. Once you've placed all of your keyframes on the markers, it's time to add keyframes for the peaks of the bounces. Place a new keyframe halfway between your first two keyframes, right click on it and select Slow. Now. Move your ball up a little bit without moving it horizontally. This is going to be the model for how high the ball will bounce every time, so make sure you settle on your decision now. If you play back what you've made so far, your ball should do a little stationary bounce. To start with, we're going to make the peak of the ball's bounces go halfway between each highlighted lyric. So copy the keyframe you've just made, and start right clicking and pasting it between each bounce. That's halfway between each of your markers. If you play back what you've made after doing this, the ball should be bouncing in place, landing every time there's a new lyric you placed a timing marker for. Now we're going to handle the horizontal movement of the bouncy ball. Right click on the video track that contains the ball and choose Insert Video Track. On the bouncy ball track, 
click on Make Compositing Child. A new button should appear at the top left of the upper track called Parent Motion. This is basically another track motion option for all the child tracks linked to this one. We're going to use this to move the ball horizontally between each lyric. Go into this window and press this button to prevent vertical movement. You should just be able to go to each marker you placed earlier and move the bouncy ball so it appears to be over the relevant lyric. Repeat this for every marker and you should be basically done. If you followed this exactly, at this point the ball will bounce between every lyric, bouncing from one end of the line straight to the start of the next line. You might want it to look like this or are satisfied enough to not bother changing it. If that's the case, good job, you're probably done. However, in the sample I'm working from and in lots of other videos I've seen that use this style, the ball will bounce in from the left when starting a line and bounce out to the right at the end. It shouldn't take long to add this in if you want it. Start by going back into the track motion for the ball track to add some more vertical keyframes. Copy a set of bounce and peak keyframes and paste them in at the start of each new line of lyrics. Then do the same for a peak followed by a bounce and paste them at the end of every line of lyrics. Now we have to go back to the parent motion of the track above again and fill in the extra horizontal movement. For each new bounce keyframe you've added in, move the ball either just off the left side of the screen for the start of the line or just off the right of the screen for the end of a line. For the end of the line though, you'll also need to right click on each keyframe and select hold. This will make it so it doesn't animate between the right of the screen back to the left. Just appear there instead. One final thing you might want to consider is a maximum bounce duration. If the song you're doing this for is particularly slow, having the ball bounce really slowly between each word or syllable can look a bit odd. For the few occasions where this happens in my example project, I decided to use a maximum duration of 10 frames, which is 1 sixth of a second. I did this by moving any necessary peak keyframes to 5 frames before the next bounce, and adding an extra bounce keyframe 5 frames before that one. In the parent track's horizontal movement, I also duplicate the previous keyframe and place that in the same place as the extra bounce keyframe I just added. Now in the sample I'm working from, the currently sung lyrics are also highlighted by a change in lyric colouring. This isn't really required, but I'll add in a quick explanation for completion. Right click on your video track that contains all of your lyrics and duplicate it. Right click on the upper of the two lyrics tracks you have now and choose insert video track. On your track with the lyrics, click on make compositing child. Now go to media generators and find the solid color generator. Choose a highlight color from these and add it to your new blank video track, stretching it out to the full length of the song. Your entire video will change color. Now click on the compositing mode button for the track with the color in it and choose multiply mask. This will tint the upper lyrics track with the color you're adding in. For specific highlights now, enter the event pan crop window for a text event on this track, tick the mask timeline on and draw a rectangle that highlights the first lyric. Right click on your keyframe and select hold. Now, move to each lyric marker you made earlier and move and resize the rectangle so it highlights each lyric at the correct time. Repeat this for every text event for the lyrics. And with that, the tutorial is complete. You can obviously add aesthetic changes and improvements if you want to display your text or bouncy ball in a different style to what I'm showing here, but that's all I think I need to say. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, Please do me a like, subscribe, share this video if anyone asks how to achieve this effect in Vegas Pro, all that stuff. If you really like this, please consider donating via PayPal or supporting me monthly via Patreon. Thank you very much to my current patrons. They are all very kind and beautiful and kind. Love you, bye bye.